Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Bobby Chady 2 bringing you a pistol review of the Six Hour P220 Equinox chamber 45 ACP. Getting started, this weapon has been safety checked. It is clear. There's no mag in the chamber. Uh, getting started, uh, I think, from my personal opinion, if you're in the market for a, uh, say, like a 1911, a custom 1911, but you don't feel like dishing out the money for a 1911, I think this would be a great alternative. Uh, a cheap alternative and even though this gun even at the dealers is about mm, uh, hovers around a thousand dollars depends on where you are your miles will vary uh, in different cities and jurisdictions uh, however I think this would be a great alternative to a 1911 the specs on this gun it has a 4.4 inch barrel it's 8 plus 1 double action single action it's a SIG so the fit and finish is outstanding uh, I think SIG's uh, history kind of speaks for itself. The first thing we're going to talk about is the trigger. It's double action. Double action, single action. Double action trigger is 10 pounds. Very smooth. It's not gritty at all. It doesn't stack. It's a great double action trigger. Uh, if I had to compare this to, say, like a, a Breda M9, 92FS, CZ75, I would stand by this, uh, the SIG trigger all day long because it's that much better than the two examples I used. Uh, I'm not a CZ hater, I'm not a Beretta hater, but that's just from my personal experience. The single action trigger on this particular firearm, uh, it breaks when it's at break. There's no hardly any take up, hardly any creep. It just breaks. Now the only uh, real complaint, it's not a huge complaint, but the only uh, beef I have with the trigger is with the reset watch. That's reset. That's break. That's reset. That's break. You see a little bit of take up between reset and break? That's really the only issue I have with the trigger. That's really the only issue I have with the gun. Uh, other than that, the fit and the finish on this particular handgun is, I mean, it's a good looking gun. The stippling, the checkering, the, the wood grain, the color of the wood, the fact that it's a, uh, a, a two tone stainless slide, part stainless part. Uh, nitron tenor for whatever the hell you want to call it the top of the slide and the hood of the chamber is machine polish stainless that's a pro and a con yeah it looks great I wish this camera uh, could show the detail in the machining on the top of the slide because it's really good looking but the only disadvantage is you see the light reflecting off of it in a combat situation if you're in an uh, uh, armed confrontation and you are having to fend off an attacker and the sun's coming down on the slide it's going to be blinding you and I don't want anything getting in the way of my sight picture period if I can get the sights on them hopefully I can I'd rather that be met but you know what I mean that's very that's a, a very tactical way of looking at it and it's a defensive handgun so I'm not going to harp on that too much uh, other than that it's got the rail on it, it says Equinox isn't that cool um, pretty, pretty much the whole fit and finish of the gun is excellent. The only thing that's wrong with this gun right now is the true glow sight. It's not a six sight, it's a true glow sight. Uh, it's a 24-7 sight, part fiber optic, far, uh, fart, part tritium, night sight, and the tritium, the tritium, the fiber optic insert popped out. I don't know how, how it happened, the owner doesn't know how it happened, neither one of us know. But that's got to be sent off for warranty repair because this weapon was sent with, true glow, with a true glow front sight on it. So that is SIG's responsibility. And I'm sure they'll take care of it. Uh, the rear sight is a SIG light sight. Night sight. Excellent. They're very bright in the dark. Period. Taking this gun down. And it's a SIG. Takes down very easily. Flip down. Lock, lock back. Turn down. Hold slide. Bring forward. Pull off. That's it. This is an aluminum frame gun. Just like I said, it's 30 ounces, unloaded with empty mag. Uh, the frame is pretty simple, pretty boring. You got your decocker, you got your slide lock with the ejector built onto it, you got your springs uh, for the hammer and all that good stuff for your trigger. Um, other than that, that's about it. Uh, and then you got your takedown lever. Getting away from the frame, which is kind of boring. 
you gotta hold the spring. I took this thing apart one time, and this rod went flying off into parts unknown, and it took me 10 minutes just to find it, hiding behind the couch. We're gonna take the barrel out of it now because we're gonna get to that next. The recoil system in this particular farm is a braided single recoil spring, which I think is a really good idea. Uh, it adds longevity, it adds durability, and the ingenuity behind it. Whoever designed this is a genius. I'm just gonna say that outright. The recoil rod is uh, polymer. Kind of wish it was steel, but it seems rigid enough, and it works very well in this particular firearm. The barrel is a 4.4 inch, conventionally rifled, fully supported barrel. I've never really gotten too hardcore for uh, match grade barrels at all. In a handgun, the only time the accuracy of the gun comes into play is when you're bench resting. If you're uh, standing or shooting offhand, that's not the accuracy of the gun you're talking about. That's the accuracy of the operator. And I'm sorry, but 9.9999 times out of 10, if you're in a standing position shooting a firearm, the gun will always be more accurate than the shooter. That's just how I think. That's I'm 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 sure that's fact, but that's how I think. If you want to have uh, extreme accuracy, then you need to get a rifle and not a handgun. But if you want an up close uh, defensive weapon, yeah, hell yeah, handgun's the way to go. Putting this particular firearm back together. Uh, safeties on this gun include a firing pin block, a decocker, and a very long trigger. Let me put the same together and we'll talk about that. I hate when people say, well, there's no manual safety on that gun. Well, you know what? You don't need it. And here's why. Say I just chambered around, with which I didn't. But say I just chambered around, you decock it. And you put it in your holster, and you leave the hell alone. There, I, there's so many times, uh, even in my line of work, the company that I work for, I work for a company that does armed security for federal government sites. And there have been times, either when we've been out on the road, um, contract guards go out on the road, and they their guns go off. It's happened, whether it be in hotel room, whether it be on post. And guess how it happens? It doesn't happen because the gun shot the bullet off. It happens because the jackass has pulled the trigger. The biggest safety that you can have on a firearm is in between your ears, and I highly recommend that you employ that safety system at all times, whether you're carrying a gun or not. Um, the fact that it's got a firing pin block, a decocker, and a very, very long double action trigger pull, that's all the safety that you need. The rest of the safety is in between your ears. That's it. And that's all I have to say about that. Um, other than that, that's about all I can say about this particular farm. It is a fine, fine gun. Uh, it shoots very smoothly. It handles, it just, this gun just soaks up recoil. Uh, the bore axis is a little bit high, but just the weight of the gun and the fact that, you know, it's a very, very balanced handgun, I, I think kind of attributes to its, uh, its shootability. Uh, the magazine is a, uh, steel single stack. Uh, eight rounder with a plastic base plate and plastic follower. They're very dependable. Um, in the in the couple thousand rounds that have gone through this gun, we've never had a single uh, feeding problem with this particular firearm. But uh, ending this, I will tell you uh, that just like I said in the beginning, if if you're looking into getting a custom 1911 but don't want to spend the money, look into the P220, whether it be the the 220, the standard, or the all all the way up to the Equinox. Um, and in this review, join the NRA, defend your right to own these firearms. Any questions that anybody has for on this particular firearm or any or, or any gun that you may have questions on, please feel free to send me a message to my account. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to answer you. Uh, this is Bobby Chady 2 out on the SIG P220 Equinox, chamber 45 ACP. Y'all take care.